An open letter from a sitting Beaumont City Councilwoman to a sitting Jefferson County judge raising eyebrows. Tonight, Councilwoman Virginia Jordan is disappointed in an animal cruelty ruling. A defendant got only probation. 12 News reporter Troy Kless spoke with Councilwoman Jordan today. Troy, um, what did she say about this letter? Well, Erica, she says that she wants to send a message to judges that she thinks a ruling like this recent case is not a fitting punishment. In my mind, who could let this poor animal in her care starve to death? And that sort Virginia of thing. Jordan we're, voicing we're making... strong opinions on animal cruelty weeks after Jackie Thomas pleaded guilty to starving this dog and letting another die because of her neglect. It's a fact that she had options. She chose the most heinous option that you could possibly imagine. Jordan opted to write a letter to Jefferson County Judge Clint Woods after the ruling. She called the punishment grossly insufficient and deplorable. Judge Woods declined to comment. That letter gained hundreds of shares from animal lovers. We all either have animals, we care for animals, we love people who do if we don't, and uh, this community was just gro grossly misjudged on this particular issue. It doesn't change that Thomas's guilty plea led to 100 hours of community service and two years of probation, even though Thomas could have received up to a year in jail or a $4,000 fine. All that Jordan is asking for is to punish animal abusers and all criminals to the full extent of the law. And we want the judges to know that a ruling such as the one that just occurred is just not satisfactory. Now, this was Thomas's first offense of animal cruelty. So based on the Texas Penal Code, if someone is charged more than two times for that particular crime, the punishment could become a third degree felony, but only in that instance. Okay, so this case is still causing a lot of chatter out there, especially mm -hmm. with animal lovers. And it was also offered that she would do those service hours with the Humane Society. But what happened in that case? Well, I think that, you know, we heard a lot about why she was uh, maybe b too busy to take care of the animals. But also Virginia Jordan made a point that sometimes if you don't have the time to take care of the animals, then maybe they should not necessarily be in your care. We will see strong advocates on both sides of this, I'm pretty sure. Thank yes, you, sir. sir, very much. Thanks, Troy. Thank you.